Hatsan seems to think that for just 400 bucks, you can get a damn good bullpup. Are they right? Coming up. AEAC is made possible by JSB Match Diablo, H&N Sport, Predator International, Air Arms, Crossman Corporation, Daystate, FX Air Guns, Sports Match Rings UK, Rapid Air Weapons, and Aztec Optics. And you guys know the best way to thank them. All right, guys, the Hatsan Flash Pup comes to us from Turkey. It's available in 177, 22, and 25. It measures a mere 32 inches long. By itself, it weighs 6.3 pounds. As you see it here, it weighs 7.9. To include a scope, mounts, a cylinder filled with air, and a magazine full of lead, it's available in walnut stained beach only. Ships with two 12 shot mags and a single shot tray, and you can pick one up for a very reasonable 400 bucks. Now the flash is not regulated. So when you fill its 165 cc reservoir to its 200 bar max and shoot that gauge all the way through the green, you're gonna get about 50 usable shots at distances like 25 yards. Now if you wanna stretch things out to 50 and 100, refill, shoot just 25 times, and you'll be rewarded with a much tighter standard deviation and extreme spread. Now power comes in at a punchy 31 foot-pounds of energy, which it accomplishes by pushing an 18 grain pellet to an average of about 878 feet per second across two mags. Now the pup also takes advantage of a shrouded and silenced Turkish made quiet energy barrel system, weaver above and below, side bolt cocking, a side facing manometer, an adjustable cheek piece, a rubber butt pad, and Hatsan's dual stage fully adjustable match grade quattro trigger with manual safety. So, is it any good? Yes, it's very good. So long as you're comfortable with and understand its few limitations. The Flash is a 32 inch bullpup that ships with a Weaver bipod mount, which is a disagreement of sorts because you won't have the leverage to cock it prone. And bipodded from the bench, it's a little light and bouncy for my tastes. But on the fly, it excels. It's easy to load. It's narrow and soft in the hands. It's perfectly balanced and light and is plenty quick. Cocking and cycling are surprisingly slick, more so than I recall when I reviewed the Flash Carbine 25 back in April. That gun's power, accuracy, quietness, trigger, and $300 price tag were standouts. Our Flash Pup here will prove equally as capable, and in some areas, more so. If you're new to AEAC, one of you are going to win the actual gun used in the making of this video next week, along with a Hatsan Tactair spark compressor and power supply. Our friends at Sports Match Rings UK are contributing a set of HTO 7.6 scope rings and JSB a 22 sampler pack. There'll be instructions on how to enter the giveaway at the end of this video. For more information on the spark, hit me up on my other YouTube channel, AEAC Vlog. If you'd like to partake in the discovery and approach as I work my way through the making of each and every one of these videos, you can follow AEAC on Facebook and Instagram. And to the 10,552 of you who do, thank you. If you're new here, I like to use Doppler radar to measure the speed of the pellet in set increments from the muzzle all the way to the target. This will enable you to determine which pellet is landing downrange with the most energy, as well as which ones have the slipperiest ballistic coefficient.
Filling the Flash's 165 cc reservoir from an air tank goes like this. Take the proprietary fill probe that ships with the gun and insert it into the air reservoir. When you do, it'll push out the dust plug. Catch the plug and set it aside. Now fill to no more than 200 bar. That noise you heard is normal and is the sound of the air rushing past the check valve into the gun. Now when you're done, purge the air between your fill source and the gun. Now you can safely remove the fill probe and reinsert your dust plug. That's all there is to it. When filling with a spark, the process is pretty much the same. Plug it into the gun, plug it into the wall, and make sure the purge vent is closed. Then, turn on the spark's cooling fan, and when you're ready to fill, throw the main power switch. The Flash's harmonics are good, the valve strike is sharp, and there's no funky sounds or vibrations. The updated magazines perform well too, and are easy to load. The stock is nice enough and it's checkering ample, but its smooth curved underbelly makes it tough to shoot well from the bag but it's those very same curves that make it so comfortable on the go. And the whole thing is wonderfully rigid.
out of the box the trigger on the flash pup has very good manners and breaks at around two and a half pounds. But by following the instructions provided in the owner's manual, I was able to get that break weight more to my liking. Now the first stage take up is very light, it's very clean, and it comes up against a nice sharp stop. And with just a little more pressure, off it goes. Twelve point eight ounces. Today I'm shooting the Athlon Talos three to twelve by forty AO scope. It came by way of Air Guns of Arizona and I picked it for its small size and reasonable price tag. And I must say, for just 180 bucks, I am quite smitten with it. Overall it has a robust quality feel and finish. And anything on it that moves does so as well as anything costing more than twice as much. The glass is bright and sharp and to my surprise was relatively free of any distortion around the edges. And I'd even go so far as to call this my new sub $200 favorite, hands down. Hudson's quiet energy system is both baffled and shrouded, and this works together very nicely to squash this pup's 31 foot-pounds. Well, that's all for today guys and special thanks to Hudson USA for getting the flash pup 
and the spark into my hands to review for you. Now from here you want to head on over to the Airgun Nation forum so that you can participate in the discussion thread and the giveaway on both the Flash and the Spark. I'll leave you a link on how to get there in the description down below. As for me, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, tell all your friends about us, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, 8yaconline.com, Vimeo, as well as our brand new sister YouTube channel, 8yac vlog. I'll share things over there that won't make it here, and you guys won't want to miss out. So with that, I'm Steve Shally. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck, everyone.